Hey. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Happy Valentine's. It's it been is. in court. <laughs> yeah, we've been in court today. We didn't say we were coming on because we didn't know if we were or not. So we're going to invite a few people here. Let me see. Let me get you put on here. Sometimes you come. Did you find it? You come mm -hmm. up. Sometimes you do not. Sometimes I have to. I know. I don't know. Put it in turn. I think they do it on purpose. Yeah. So, so look, you're not even showing up. Okay. Somebody share this with uh, Wendy. Because <laughs> I, will not let me share with her. <clears throat> if anybody gets on here, everybody should be working, being out, working like good folks, that good hardworking American citizens that we are. We yeah. are too. And oh, we just stopped and ate some breakfast too. Okay, so bear with. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We were in court this morning, so we just want to give you a little update. <laughs> I always like to tag a few people here. Okay. All right, yeah. good. Hey, um, getting everything but Patty. Now. Yep, you're not getting it yet? Okay, let me try one more time. That's I'll find it. Wendy. I think Wendy's too hurt. Oh, I look. Pan. Uh, cock. There's Jim. There's your dad. Tell daddy. your dad. Hi, Daddy. Happy Valentine's. Okay. Sorry, guys. Mm -mm. Okay, so actually, if somebody could add Wendy Hancock, <laughs> that'd be great because, like, she doesn't so even nice. show up in my thing. All right, so we are in uh, beautiful downtown McMinnville, Tennessee. And one more thing here. I'm going to plug my phone in. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's over there. Would you plug that in? Oh, yeah. She has a real phone. And it's so cold. So we are sitting in the car. We were in a little restaurant over here where we stopped and had some breakfast. But um, we ate too much. And it was really, really noisy in there. So we are in the car. <laughs> Uh, so we were in court this morning in juvenile court in front of Judge Locke, and um, to give y'all an update, so you know we have a federal we have a federal lawsuit pending, and uh, we named a lot of people. As a matter of fact, I, we started off with 14 defendants, and we started dropping a few of them. Uh, it was really it's really kind of hard in civil rights to focus on who actually did the dastardly constitutional violation and who assisted in it and in this case in particular because we know that Dee Dee and yeah, Tracy <laughs> and Cornelius and Holmes and Cribs. yeah Cripps like they were all show, like yeah. had this little chit chat going on behind the scenes that they didn't tell us about so we filed the federal lawsuit and then as most of you know right after we filed the federal lawsuit they come and indict us or right before was it you right told before them. or right after was right they they actually arrested us yeah, before we filed but it. she told them on february 22nd that she was gonna see them in federal court yeah i did she I, did tell them yep i did say that so uh so they indicted us and they did that last summer a lot of you saw that um they indicted um wendy for um felony custodial interference and me for facilitation and look the up felony. the definition to custodial yeah so uh we, you know, went along with it. They didn't even put a bond on me, and I don't know what was your bond at three thousand or something. Do you remember? It wasn't very I much. I paid a hundred. Didn't you pay? Oh, pay hundred fifty to get oh, out. Oh, so, so that maybe, means it was like fifteen. Yeah, like a thousand dollars, fifteen hundred dollars. So uh, we were supposed to go to court in like November, and they didn't have the discovery ready, and so we went back to court January thirty first, and. Uh, they gave us a whole bunch of discovery, which was basically the juvenile court stuff. We did find out they did search warrants on our phone, my our phones, your phone yeah, too, and my daughter's, <clears throat> your daughter's phone, um, my Facebook. And then we found out that um, they did a search warrant. This is kind of odd. They did a search search warrant on my phone after they arrested us because they arrested okay, us on like the nineteenth. Yep, there you go. So, um, so but they also did a layout of your house. Oh yeah, they did well. Yeah, they pulled the tax records on the house, and and they keep talking about in there that they had an emergency ping order, which would because we're saying they violated the Fourth Amendment as well. But the emergency ping because order because Cornelius felt like yeah. But there's no emergency ping order in there, like in all those pages. I went through every single page. There's no emergency ping order. Or something. Yeah, big stack of stuff. And then they gave us. They gave us some videos that won't play, so that's mm -hmm. interesting. 
They also, we found out they have some videos they haven't given us, like the video of uh, your daughter in the back of a police car. They have oh, yeah, that. I haven't seen that yet. They have not given us that. So, hang on. That's my mm -hmm. water. They gave us the video of us in the back of the car. <laughs> yeah, they gave us <laughs> us in the car. So, today we were here because they went and they got the juvenile court record uh, without telling us, without going through the whole proper thing, et cetera, et cetera. So, we're down here and now they're filing to release a record. Even Locke said he didn't know if they obtained that. Yeah, he said they didn't obtain it the, the right way. They yeah. didn't follow the rules. Now, you know, it's really funny because when it comes to you and I, uh, we got to follow the rules. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> like, if we have one little hiccup, like if we question the validity of something, we're the bad guys. We're the, you know, but they ignore the law. Just totally ignore it. Because they're bound by the truth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a quote this morning. Love. Bound yeah, they by said the that truth. we couldn't be bound by the truth. But here's uh, the, uh, they love throwing around when we get in civil court. They did this in federal court. And they did it down here too. <clears throat> they say, oh, well, there's these indictments for felonies and uh, the federal cases stayed until these are resolved, if they ever are. <laughs> so the first thing that so popped sad. out of my mouth when I jumped up, uh, somebody- She was mad. Help with the video, I don't know what that was What's about. an emergency ping order? Um, yeah, we would like to know, I might be able to help you with the video. Get the location on your phone, <clears throat> where you're at. <clears throat> Like, say I'm at Connie's house, they ping my phone. Yeah. We were at Taco Bell, I think, or something. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but anyway, uh, oh, so I said, well, you know what, Judge? Um, I I was going to use the word phony baloney. I'm not <laughs> sure I used I phony baloney. Yeah. But I did say something of that, and I go, yeah, well, this indictment's going to be another federal lawsuit because yeah, she did say here's that. what the law says. It says... The, the indictment says that Wendy Hancock detained her child in violation of a court order. <clears throat> and I'm like, here's what the law says. I didn't have the a law court says, order. well, you had the court order. You know, there was a court order that we were, we've questioned the validity of. I want to be real clear about that because they all are stalking us and they want to put this out there. But it, the custodial interference is a violation of a visitation order. Yeah visitation yeah I'm like this was not an order of visitation so yeah. you know and I've already drafted a motion to dismiss the indictment I've already passed it to the public defender and to my attorney and you know we got to clean it up a little bit and make some corrections <clears throat> but um, Scotland hey Jonathan wow. yeah thank you for joining us so I hope you um, fighting this whole CPS phony baloney too so anyway we were there and I mean how many attorneys were on the other side against us today uh, about four or five. About four or five attorneys on the other side of the room. And who is this strange dude in the back of the courtroom? Oh, whoever you are, because he's probably watching. Yeah, you're this. probably watching. Your name is Burns? Burns, something like that? Yeah. That I had a conversation <clears throat> with in the elevator real quickly. Um, we want to know who you are. Yeah, so we get ready. Especially because you were taking pictures of us. Yeah, in court. so we were getting ready to start, and we're in this funky little courtroom that had like. Mold uh, on the ceiling. ceiling falling down. Yeah, the ceiling's falling uh -huh. down like over our head. We should have taken a picture of that because we really need to it's share with people. It's the picture of who the guy took <laughs> of us. There's like insulation like falling out of the ceiling above our and head. The, and the courtroom is roped off with a yellow tape. Yeah, and it there. smells like mold in there. I mean, it's pretty disgusting here in McMinnville, Oh, Tennessee. they gave me a hard time in court this morning. Mm. Like, they, it seemed like the guards were already like pissed off when we got really? there. Really? I Didn't thought they thought it was funny. We'll I mean, take you to the courtroom. Oh, you got to go downstairs. Oh, yeah. They were doing weird like that. Yeah. But at the end of it, the one guy in the yeah, front, was I was like, end. I was, he was like smiling at me. He knows it. He's got it. He knows what's going on. Yeah. And you know, and I'm just going to say, Judge Locke, I know somebody's going to send this back to you. You have this weird little grin on your face sometimes. I don't know what it's about. But it's like you... And Sarah wasn't there today, so... Sarah's not there. <laughs> Nobody else is there. I don't know. I'm just saying, just saying, just kind of this, like, little little smirk thing. And I know, because I do that little smirk thing, too. Yeah, so, my son does that, too. Yeah, I, yeah. And it's like, it's like, uh, yeah, well, uh, uh, they didn't really do it the right way, but uh, I'm going to let them do it anyway. I'm like, really? What? If we violate a court order, oh, yeah, we'll go to jail. we're freaking indicted, okay, mm -hmm. and put in the back of a police car, but they can break the law. Because they're bound by the truth. 
I can't help it. They that can was... break the law and then it's okay. It's okay. Well, it was just a little hiccup. Well, it was just a, a harmless error. Just a harmless error. Okay, so this strange unknown person is sitting in the courtroom and we uh, announce who's, who's there. The attorney sits there and then the judge gets ready to start and I said, Your Honor, uh, these are uh, a rise out of a dependent neglect and their confidential proceedings. There's another person in the courtroom. It was an attorney, he said. And this older man sitting back there, he'd been had his little camera up, like <laughs> taking a picture of us. And uh, the judge asked him who he was, and he said Bob Burns, something Nashville like Bar, or something. You can go back and listen to the uh, Yeah, I've got a recording of it. Of course, it. she does. <clears throat> and we had a court reporter there, too. So I said, Well, Judge, he needs to leave. So the judge was like, Okay, she says you need to leave. I'm sorry you drove so far to observe. But. <laughs> yeah, observe. Now, who would want to observe us? Just, just saying, who would want to observe us in juvenile court? Unless they're trolls. Or trolls or stalkers. something. But we don't know who do this. So, anyway, so that's where it was. So, while we're here, though, I'm going to tell you something. Hey, do you have your phone? Oh, mm -hmm. I can't pull it up from there. All right, so somebody late last night sent me a new bill that's going to... Um, oh, Lord. go to the legislator in legislature in Tennessee. I'm gonna have to probably do a live and just talk about it later. But they have a new bill. No this idea. is so hilarious. This just shows how out of touch the whole government is on the um, on the whole child welfare stuff. So the new bill says that the court will <coughs> appoint a guardian ad <coughs> item, and then it has it has new. Uh, requirements for point, appointing a guardian ad litem. So one of them is if your child has been the subject of a DCS investigation two times in the last 12 months. Okay, now that's just the subject of an investigation. And that's without removal, right? And yeah, without removal and basically they're saying, so basically the legislature is saying, we don't think DCS can do their job so we're going to put an attorney in charge. Okay, do you understand that? They are, they think the child welfare agency, the state agency, DCS, who gets $680 million a year of our tax dollars, $680 million, our and puts 8,000 children a year in foster care. 8,000? 8,000, 8, yep. <coughs> Yeah, well, they harass another 50,000 probably, but put eight, so they get 680 million. They put 8,000 in foster care. They have, uh, I think, 100 lawyers, okay, across the state, and they can't do their job. So, what we're going to do with the General Assembly, we're going to pass a law that puts attorneys in charge of it. Didn't do a good job with mine because they put guardian and line attorneys in charge of child welfare investigations, right? Gay, more money. Yeah, 680 right. million idiots in the system. <laughs> you are so right, Kathy. Yeah, so they're <laughs> gonna they're gonna now appoint guardian and items more cases. Hang on here. What happened to our light here? I don't know. Can everybody see us? They can see us, but okay. So our <laughs> phone went some weird here. Oh, there okay. we go. Sorry, we screwed up. It's, it's like your light is not. Yeah. Right. Can y'all see us okay? I guess. Yeah, we know it is. All right, so uh, <coughs> more stupidity. You are so right, Marianne. Yeah, so they're going to point, they're going to put attorneys. Now, keep in mind, though, they're not just any attorney because these are attorneys appointed by the judge, the juvenile court judge, that they have to go in front of. Now, how much more money do you think that's going to cost the taxpayers? Because we already spend about $4 million a year on, um, on guardian ad litems, okay, and some other indigent court appointed shenanigans, okay? So, anyway. All right, so you need to be aware. I'm going to do a live on that. And I'm going to need a posse to come down. I need Sarah and Marie and Lydia. And, you know, we need a, a little posse here to go down to the General Assembly and tell them not to vote on this. Oh, so, wow. all right, so one more thing I'm going to tell you before we go here because I've got, I'm about two hours from my office. It's Valentine's, y'all. Happy Valentine's. It's Valentine's. I'm two hours away. I'd really like to take off early today, and I've got other work I got to do. And but uh, anyway, so um, 
I had a phone call yesterday. I can't disclose who it was with, okay? But I had a phone call with somebody who's in another state who's done a lot of work with She's what? Kidding. Blind Man. leading the blind, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, there's a joke in that. That's... The blind leading the blind. So, um, anyway, I had a phone call. This person has been very involved in, he used to be in the military, and then he got involved in kind of some of the child trafficking and the international hostage stuff. I mean, he's kind of been around a bit, and he has, he's in a state, and I, I just can't really give any of it away right now, so I can't even tell we you what state. We know you would if you could. I would. <laughs> but he's in another state that has a lot of horrible child CPS trafficking going on and so he's become very interested in it and he is going to um, he's, he's got a meeting set up in DC and he's trying to get about three or four other meetings uh, we talked about the time period in March I've set aside some days on my calendar I told him if he could get some meetings set up that I would go and tell some of the stories and take so Bob's profile says he is also sex. Well, this so Jim, is an so old Todd, guy. Yeah. So we looked up that we looked up a Bob Robert Burns, Burns. Robert Burns in Nashville. This was a guy in his seventies, I would say. Unless that's a really or old 60s. picture on that profile, uh, it's not the same dude. We, trust but, me, we've been driving yeah. ourselves crazy trying to figure out who he is. Yeah, we've already. <laughs> oh, we're searched. eating. We're like. We've already yeah. searched LinkedIn and Facebook. That's and, why if you're watching, holler at us. I'm going. Yeah, so he's probably, he, well, he'll probably pop back up. He might have been associated with, uh, Keys did not have an attorney here today, so he might be associated with Keys uh, Foster Care Company, maybe. So maybe. That's a... But uh, anyway, so uh, this phone call I had, and we're trying to set some meetings up in D.C., but he's taken a real interest and you know, really thinks that it's all the whole child trafficking is pretty closely associated with this. So, anyway, so that's it. Yes, yes, it is old. Oh, it is old. Okay, well maybe it is him because um, he's but bald he looked, now. He looked old. I mean, he was, he was, he yeah. I mean, I know I hold up really well for my age, yeah. but this dude looked really old. Yeah. So, okay, all right. So anyway, anything else? Did I miss anything else? I don't know. I just, uh. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna tell you this. Can I tell I him about that. your picture popping up? <clears throat> yeah, tell him, because. So. First on Pandora. Okay, yeah, so let's back up. So, when they did their, what I consider an unlawful ex parte order in August of 2018, they put Wendy and her daughter up on an endangered child alert. Okay, now most of you probably think, number one, that when they take she do? when they take the endangered child alert down, that it's gone, right? Uh-uh. So they put them up on an endangered child alert, you know, one of these amber alert things that flash on your phone. And in the then news. In the news and on your phone and all this stuff. Well, that was 2000, August 2018. 2018. We are a year and a half ago. And, she, and my daughter's at an age where everything's embarrassing. Yeah. Mom's and, embarrassing. And I'm going to tell you, that Amber Alert has popped up on Pandora. Pandora. And, and on night, Google. Yeah, her, her one of her friends was looking at the weather last night, <clears throat> and that popped up. She sent it to her, and she stayed up all night long trying to find where it was on the Internet. And what what can I do, y'all? What can I do? To get yeah. that off because I mean it's it's still circulating on ads uh, Pandora I listen to that in the gym yeah I would be livid if I saw that come up but yeah so you so these that's little, more trauma and more triggers right she's trying to forget about it and people are sending her the Amber Alert picture yeah and you know and I appreciate that you know I don't want people to think I'm mad about it because I'm not I understand but that they're doing it out of concern for her well, but the thing is, is that, I mean, we've talked about this before, and, you know, I questioned them about the whole Amber Alert in the first place because, you know, they put it, they didn't have the courtesy to give me a phone call, a phone call after they'd talked to me, after I'd left a message for the social worker and the detective, 
not the courtesy of a phone call to tell us they were considering removal of the children and should have a meeting, which is what the DCS policy says, Doug Diamond, Tracy Hetzel, Sophia Crawford, Commissioner Nichols. That's what your policy says, that if there's a risk of removal, that you'll have a meeting, right? To attempt to have a meeting. No, you just go hop into another county another county go to the next county and get an ex parte order so nobody knows you're doing and it you and can't why track so you down are in the lawsuit. and then you want right and then and then you go and file an amber alert when you knew you feel feel uh, like uh, she's in danger and not the courtesy of a phone call to the attorney that you know is on the case not even a courtesy of a phone call. Yeah, that's how you operate. This is this shit's gonna stop. They need to take stop. that down somehow or another. The TBI or Cornelius, whoever, you need to get that picture of my daughter off. And when you see these Amber Alerts and they say the child is in the is in the possession of the non-custodial parent, they uh, don't tell you you're the non-custodial parent when they throw those out there. Do yeah, you know that. Yeah, you don't know. You're, I, I found out. Yeah, when they don't know they're the non-custodial parent. They're supposed to know. Right. When it's an ex parte order, and it's a DCS ex parte order. Okay. So, that's what we're here for. That's what Family Forward's here for. And thank you all for being part of it. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so we're just going to plug, keep plugging along, man. I pulled my all my pictures from last year of all the stuff I'd done. I did a lot last year. I went to D.C. like two or three times. I went to all kinds of stuff. I haven't done that much this year, but I'm going to get back on the ball. Oh, you've got a, got a lot going on. House load. And I got a house full yeah. of people that, you know, we've got our own family drama. It's great drama. when your adult kids move back in. Yeah, yeah I, we got our own family drama that <laughs> we're trying to keep stabilized. So. I don't want to bore y'all with that. But anyway, okay, so we love y'all. Thank love you all you. for Happy paying Valentine's attention. Day. Happy Valentine's Day. And uh, y'all be good and just keep oh, let me fight. Yeah. Just because I know it drives them crazy. Yeah. I'm going to thank Daddy for my new car. <laughs> just because I know it drives everybody crazy. Um, thank you, Daddy, for my new car. Yeah, and your hubby. Yeah, my hubby for yeah. being who he is. Yeah. and. Being Thank the you. sanest person in the world. Write lot. that down, take a picture, print it off. Daddy bought me a new car. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Okay. All right, y'all. We will talk to you later, and y'all be good. We're going to sign out. Bye-bye.